649 right now, time for the morning rush. Sentencing has been delayed for the man who pled guilty to crashing into an Uber and killing two people. Now in March, Joseph Urbanejo pled guilty to two counts of vehicular homicide. It's after he slammed into an Uber, killing Christina Martinez and Robert Gallegos in 2019. His sentencing for tomorrow was rescheduled because his attorney will be out of state for a federal case. It will now be on July the 28th. This morning, court documents state that the deadly biker gang shooting in Red River was sparked by a wedding photo. Yesterday, Christopher Garcia and Matthew Jackson pleaded not guilty to their charges. Police say all involved were part of the Bandidos and Water Dogs biker gangs. Court documents state a photo showing members of the Water Dogs and Mongols at a wedding together. That sparked the fight. Well, the FBI says that they are working with state police to make sure that upcoming motorcycle rallies in Las Vegas and Ruidoso remain peaceful. FBI special agent in charge Raul Buhanda says that rallies like the one in Red River usually remain peaceful and attendees are mostly law abiding, but they can attract gangs and crime. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. We are going to see these showers throughout the morning, so you may want to grab a rain layer or some sort of windbreaker because by this afternoon it will be hot, but we're going to see those winds whipping across the state. One Albuquerque couple is giving stroke survivors and their families a place to be heard. In June of 2021, Ian McInnes suffered a stroke and was hospitalized for five months. His wife, Stephanie Lopez, says there wasn't a stroke support group in the metro to lean on, and that's why they're starting their own. Beginning June 20th, meetings will run every Tuesday at the North Domingo Baca Multi-Generational Center at 6 in the evening. After a brief hiatus because of the COVID-19 pandemic, UNM biology students, they are now back to going overseas to expand their education. Seven students went to Kenya in December. It's where they explore unique ecosystems and learn the local language. They plan on going back to, or now going to Peru and or, and or Bolivia around this time next year. The New Mexico State Police will soon have a new chief. Deputy Chief W. Troy Weisler will be taking over as the state's top cop. Yesterday, the governor announced current state Police Chief Tim Johnson will retire in late June after 23 years of service. Weisler will take over starting on June 24th. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is high today as we'll see strong and severe storms in northern and eastern New Mexico with large hail, tornadoes, and gusty winds expected. We're also going to be windy throughout the metro with high fire danger today. Well, the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District says that under the New Mexico-Texas Compact, more than half of the water in the Rio Grande has to get down to Elephant Butte for southern New Mexico farmers and Texans. The Conservancy District says the high flows are expected to continue through July and into the rainy season. Businesses along Route 66 and Tucumcari are asking for help after storms damaged their iconic neon signs. Nearly a dozen businesses are looking for help to make the necessary repairs. Now, the New Mexico Route 66 Association has set up a GoFundMe, hoping to raise enough to fix the beloved neon signs. We'll have a link to that fundraiser on our website. Erica. All right, here's a check on traffic. Maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns. Tracker is heading south on I-25 towards lead and coal. Everything moving at speed. A piglet fell off of a truck and onto a Las Vegas highway and lived to tell the tale. Drivers on Interstate 215 were shocked when they saw an actual pig fly right out of a transport truck. They were even more shocked to find out the piglet did not suffer any major injuries. Time for the five facts. At number five happening today, Bernalillo County's summer lunch program kicks off. Meals are going to be served to children at community centers and parks across the county. That's from 1130 until 2 p.m. The meals are first come first serve and children from the ages of 1 to 18 can take part. At number four, Albuquerque Fire Rescue is reminding people to be careful on the Rio Grande this summer after a body was recovered from the water. During a routine patrol around five Monday evening, AFR spotted the body floating in the river just north of Rio Bravo. Bravo. The body was recovered but has not yet been identified. And at number three, it's going to be a stormy day across the state, but we're seeing some showers to start our morning in Albuquerque. We'll be seeing those spotty showers through around 9 a.m. We should start clearing out this afternoon. And number two, sentencing has been delayed for the man who pled guilty to crashing into an Uber and killing two people. In May of 2019, Joseph Urbanejo was dr drunk when he slammed into an Uber near Alameda and the Pan American Freeway, killing Christina Martinez and Robert Gallegos. In March, Urbanejo pled guilty to two counts of vehicular homicide and was supposed to be sentenced tomorrow, but his defense attorney asked to delay sentencing because he will be out of state for a federal case. The sentencing has been rescheduled to Friday, July 28th. 
And at number one, court documents now show that the deadly biker gang shooting in Red River was sparked by a wedding photo. Yesterday, Christopher Garcia and Matthew Jackson, who are both from Texas, pled not guilty to their charges in district court in Taos. State police say that they were among the five injured after shots rang out at a Memorial Day weekend motorcycle rally on Saturday, and three others were killed. Police say that all involved were part of the Bandidos and Water Dogs biker gangs. Court documents state that a photo showing members of the Water Dogs and Mongols at a wedding together sparked that fight.